Then there's a larger slice here of women who you might say has got alternate ornamentation. A bigger slice yet of women that's got their own money. Believe it or not, they don't need a man. Anything they need a man for, they can take care of themselves. <laughs> finally, not finally, the largest population I've found is women whose best friend is a cat named Elliot. <laughs> the smallest slice is women that disadvantaged financially perhaps, need and want a man. Might be you one of these days, a sister, an aunt, no telling. Uh, so remember this and share it like public service that uh, when a woman needs to catch a man, it's really not about sex. I mean, who wants to see granny in her knickers anyway? <laughs> not Terry. That's, that was a rhetorical question. Doesn't require an answer. The, uh, what it is, is, uh, well, here's the best way I've found to explain it is when I was, when I was your age, 20, 25 years old, I'm guessing, I would say uh, if I got the aroma of a woman's perfume in my nostrils or I smelled whiskey, I would just about go crazy. But now that I've got another few years under my belt, on most days I'd just rather have a good bowel movement. And you can take that information and circle back. Bowel movement, food, casserole. You, need, you find yourself needing an old man, take him a casserole. He's going to have nice bowel movements. He's going to be happy. He's going to have to bring the dish back to your house, which is home field advantage. Game on. Okay, so the other day I was sitting around the house. I was kind of feeling sorry for myself. I've been recently widowed. And uh, I was watching the, the Olympics, reruns of the Olympics on TV. Man, you seen that women's beach volleyball? Whew. I thought to myself, am I the only guy in America that's masturbated to the Olympics? <laughs> but that didn't, that didn't make me quit feeling sorry for myself, so I'm sitting there fluffing my nuts, and, uh, and I hate to brag, but I've got the fluffiest nuts in the state of Oklahoma. So uh, I thought about this girl that I, in high school, I thought she was pretty empathetic. She'd gone to rescue a dog from the pound, so I found her you know, on the Google, dialed her up, you know, and, in that moment when the phone was ringing, I had a moment of clarity. I said, she got that dog and she told him, give me the one with the broke dick. And, I, so, and she answered, hi, and I said, wow, this is Dennis, how are you doing? How's everything going with you? How's your health? And she said, well, I've developed a cute angina. And I said, well, that's great because you got the ugliest tits I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> now, about time for me to quit here. I want to leave you with every man wants to say that they've never paid for sex. And I'm, I can gladly say that it, I'm fit in that category too, but it is pretty damn chicken shit if you don't throw in a little on the light bill. <laughs>